And now when you are done with development and you want to sign off from your PC, like right now what you need to do is to stop the SAP system. There are two ways on how to stop the SAP system. So you firstly log off from, the, from SAP GUI and then you go back to your virtual machine. And now the option number one that I'm going to show you is that you are going to stop the whole SAP server completely. So you go to a terminal and you type in stop SAP all or here is an optional step stop SAP server, stop SAP all. Okay, so that, that, that is one option and this is going to stop the whole SAP server. Okay, so you just control C, do the right click, paste, and then when you hit enter, the SAP server is going to stop. So we will have to wait for a few moments. This is the very similar procedure of starting the SAP server. Right now it's going to, to stop. So within a few moments, the whole SAP system will be stopped and then we can close the whole virtual machine. So now when the SAP system is stopped, you close the whole virtual machine um, by powering it off. And firstly, what we do, we just close all of the windows inside of the uh, Linux machine and just go from here and power off the virtual machine. Okay, so right now what's going to happen, the whole like PC uh, is going to, to close and right now everything is stopped. Next time you want to log into the SAP system, you also need to go from the beginning. You start the SAP server and then log into the SAP system this, the same way as we have done before.